welcome to another video. In this episode we are going to Cadiz in Spain and I will show you the top 4 things to see and do in Cadiz. Cadiz is a coastal city in the south of Spain, belonging to the Andalusia region. It's around 120 kilometers south of Seville. The easiest way to get to Cadiz is to fly to either Jerez or Seville and then connect via train. There are direct trains from both Jerez and Seville. Cadiz is a historic port city in southwestern Spain. It captures the essence of Andalusian charm with its ancient streets, whitewashed buildings and vibrant culture. Cadiz is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, offering stunning views and a refreshing ocean breeze. The city's rich history dates back over 3000 years and its streets are adorned with architectural treasures including the iconic Cadiz Cathedral. Known for its delicious seafood and lively flamenco scene, Cadiz invites visitors to explore its historic sites, relax on its golden beaches and enjoy great food. The first thing on our list is to try the excellent seafood in Cadiz. We visited a restaurant called La Botequita de Plothia, located in the heart of Cadiz. Local homemade food, a pleasant atmosphere and friendly staff made it a great visit. Grilled artichoke, calamari on the barbecue and fried pontillitas all tasted great. Cadiz is full of seafood restaurants, so if you find one with good reviews, you should be good to go. Our bill came to 53 euros, including a salad and wine. Next up as number 2 on our list, we visit the Cathedral of Cadiz. The cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of Santa Cruz de Cadiz, stands as a majestic symbol of religious and architectural significance in southern Spain. The construction took 116 years, from 1722 to 1838. The cathedral showcases a blend of various styles, including Baroque and Neoclassical elements. Inside you can explore a rich collection of religious art and chapels. The entrance fee was 7 euros and it includes access to the bell tower. I decided to climb to the top of the bell tower and it was totally worth it. It's only been open to the public since 2015, so you should take the chance if you can. You'll get an amazing view from the top, including a complete view of the entire city and wonderful views of the Atlantic Ocean. Here you get a close-up of the cathedral's golden dome that dominates the Cadiz skyline. It's time to head back down and I'll show you the crypt. A highlight of the cathedral is the basement crypt. It's made out of oyster stone and bright marble. The crypt has an amazing echo effect, even from the slightest noises. You may notice that the ceiling dome is almost flat. The master mason Vicente Azero relied on his engineering knowledge to calculate the curve of the arch. We continue on the list and as number 3 is to take a walk along the seafront. Cadiz has a seafront of more than 6 kilometers. Rent a bicycle or just walk to take it all in. A fresh sea breeze and sunny skies makes it very pleasant. We stopped for a coffee at one of the many cafes. Our
Our final stop on this top 4 list will be the Roman Theatre. To enter is completely free. The remains of the theatre were discovered in 1980. The theatre, which was likely built during the 1st century BC and was one of the largest ever built in the Roman Empire, was abandoned in the 4th century. Later on in the 13th century, a fortress was built on its ruins by the order of King Alfonso X of Castile. The theatre featured a cavea with a diameter of more than 120 meters and could house some 10,000 spectators. The theatre was one of the few Roman structures of ancient Hispania mentioned by classical authors. Cadiz is considered Spain's oldest city and this is how it would have looked like under the Roman rule. That's all for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, we have plenty more videos from Spain and beyond. Thanks for watching, have a great day wherever you are, bye now.